Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. I'm um, Connor. Basically, this is uh, about using Redux to have your app write tests for you, kind of while you're like doing UI debugging on your own computer when you're developing the app. So the main thing that really drew me to Redux was the, the middleware system. And I was like, what can I do with this? I need to do something really cool. So why tests? Tests, uh, they give you confidence in your changes. They let you know like when you change one thing, you're not breaking the rest of your app. Plus, you can get product managers to allow you to continuously deploy your app. If you say, look, we have tests. It's going to work. Don't worry. So that's why I did it. What does this have to do with React and Redux? Basically, Redux, you have the single state. That's a pure function. So I was like, basically, the test is so easy to write for this. If you don't write a test, it's almost like a crime. But I still really don't want to write the test. I just want someone to do it for me. And it doesn't even have to be a person. It can be a computer. So if we step back for a second, you can see this like really simple function, add 1 plus 2, and you see how easy it is to write a test for it, right? Add 1, 2, it equals 3, done. That took me like 20 seconds to write. I'm that good. So Redux gives us the same power. You can take a state and an action. It produces a new state. It's easy to test. There's no outside things that are affecting this function. It's like I give it this action. I have this state right now. It's going to produce a new state every time. So why not just do it ourselves? Time. We have other stuff to do. We want to be developing features for our application instead of working on tests all the time. It can be hard to get into a sprint. So fast iteration, if you're changing things a lot, you don't want to change things, write a new test every single time, change, test, change, test, change, test. You kind of want to be able to like just throw something out if you've made a major change and throw it in, especially in the, in the early stage of the app when you're not exactly sure if this thing is even going to be there tomorrow or the next week. So something's better than nothing. Maybe you don't have the time to write your own test, but you'll have something. It will give you some ability to believe that your app is going to still work tomorrow, and you can deploy it, and the world won't be set on fire. So I just have a quick uh, video demo here of the middleware. If it will load. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot about internet existing. Well. I'll describe it with words, <laughs> what would have happened. Right here, you'd be seeing a to-do app, and you'd see a little circular record button in the corner. And I would have clicked, it would have clicked, and I would have been like, wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that nice blink he did. They don't give that to you with HTML anymore. I had to make that myself. So then you'd like, I'd be adding a bunch of stuff to a to-do. It would look really cool. It'd be like, oh, nice. What is he doing? He's got a lot of stuff to do. Then I'd click the record button again, and this is where you'd really be wowed. A test would pop up. It would be a beautiful test, well-written. The spacing would be nice. I use template strings. <laughs> it's amazing. And then there's a save to file button. You can browse through old tests. It saves them all. I mean, you'd probably be giving me a standing ovation right now. <laughs> So now I'm just going to quickly walk through kind of some of the generated code that the test would produce. So basically for every, every test that gets written, you get the action, which is like your to-do, wow, this is dope, wow. You would have seen that in the video. T action type, add to-do. And then yeah. for that, then you get the previous state, which is obviously like the state before the action was fired. And the next state, which is like you could see my new to-do is in there. And then this will basically write this test, which is like action, and then just result is like the reducer with the previous state in the action. And then we want to assert that the new state is equal to what the next state was from the test that's generated. So this is like a tape style test that gets generated, but I also have like the ability to do uh, like Mocha and Ava. 
and then there's a plugin where you could kind of pass in like a function that will write a test in kind of any library you want to use. So if you use something else, and then a lot of like other add-ons to do like you can pass in your own equality function. So like deep equality maybe doesn't work for you, but I'll just give you like the state and you'll return true or false. So a lot of other options. I'm running out of time, so you can check it out. It's on my GitHub, Connor Hastings slash Redux Test Recorder. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>